MBS here. Let's do a revisit of hydraulic lifters. So I've decided to totally remake this video because of changes to my other tech talks. Uh, now I'm just going to cover hydraulic lifter in specific, but not go through all the methods of actually setting it up to do your lifters. I'm going to show you how, how to do your lifters. Let's go into the actual adjustment of the hydraulic lifter. Okay, so here we've got the rock is totally loose. I'm assembling them on and I'm going to take them up to a, a zero clearance. All right, exactly the same as if you're setting a solid tappet. All right, we just need to get the clearance out. So instead of setting a feeler gauge between the uh, valve tip and the rocker, we, we want that gap to be zero. All right, now as I get close, I'll show you the pitfalls. Okay, so we're getting that close. Let's start with this one. Look at the sponginess of the hydraulic lifter. I can just push that straight in. I've got zero clearance, but I'm fooled by that. I can keep screwing this down and still have zero clearance. It just keeps pushing the push rod deeper into the hydraulic lifter. That's no good. We do not want that sort of error, so we'll back it right off until we've actually got movement. So there's two ways you can do this. You could either remove your side plate or if you can see your hydraulic lifter, you'll be able to see when the push rod actually pushes down. All we want to do is get rid of that plate and that's all. We do not want to push the push rod into the hydraulic lifter. Okay, so here's what you're trying to avoid when you're doing the zero lash adjustment. You do not want to push that plunger down. That is not zero lash when the plunger is pushed down. Okay, you, you want to get rid of all the play. See, at the moment there's plenty of play in there. You need to screw that bolt down until that play disappears without pushing that plunger down. That is zero lash. So let's get that on there and let's just spin the push rod and see if we can feel it that way. It doesn't take much, believe you me, because there isn't much resistance on the push rod when it's actually pushing the hydraulic lifter down, especially when they're brand new. So I can spin that really, uh, okay, so I can feel a distinct difference. I've started to put pressure onto that uh, plunger in the hydraulic lifter and I've probably taken it a bit too far. So I'll go back 45 degrees and I can feel that totally loose and I can feel a little bit of movement. So I'll now just go a little bit and I've got distinct feeling that there's resistance on that push rod. Okay? So that would be zero clearance. Okay? There should be no clearance between the rocker arm and the valve stem and all the movement should be taken up between the rocker arm, the push rod and the hydraulic lifter. That is now zero clearance. Now we'll do this one, exactly the same. All right. Now you could do it fast for start, and there we go. Now I've gone into tight, so now I can back it off until I get full play, and then very slowly just keep taking up that a little bit at a time until I get a feeling that the push rod has got resistance on it, and that's it there. That is zero lash, instead of having clearance like you would with a normal solid tappet. All you do from here is just rotate that nut down another three quarters to one turn. Okay? Some people like to go half a turn. I know Chevy owners will go half. Uh, Anti-pump up lifters. Uh, I've heard in the, uh, around the traps that they only go down a quarter of a turn. But I've never done that. I've always gone down at least half a turn for anti-pump up. But a standard lifter, three quarters of a turn to one turn is satisfactory. I like three quarters. I've been using three quarters my whole career. And there we have it. That is adjusted. Okay. So now all I have to do is uh, get my next uh, cylinder to rock and then I'll do my next pair of cylinders. Or if I'm doing the top dead center method, uh, I would just find out which other ones I had to do. Okay. So that is a correctly adjusted hydraulic lifter. As simple as that. The positioning method to, that allows you to do this will depend on your engine and uh, how difficult it is to turn over. Now I really do advise that you uh, have a good look at Tech Talk 2 which covers all the positioning methods before you attempt to do your hydraulic lifters. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.